hey, sports fans, Larry Eater, run, blog, run. This is the epilogue part of Athletics G. Cool, huh? 30 weeks you've been putting up with Stuart Weir in Oxford, England, the intellectual capital of the world, and Larry Eater either in San Jose, California, or Fort Atkinson, Wisconsin. This San Jose, and now I'm in quarantine for two weeks, so I'm not going anywhere. So you get to put up with me for two exciting weeks. Isn't that fun? All right, kids, here we go. Um, today we talked about British Athletes of the Year, Jake Whiteman and Gemma Riki. Uh, Jake ran 329.47 for 1,500. He is now number two on the British all-time list. He's ahead of Mr. Cram, Mr. Coe, and Mr. Ovette. And I just loved the wicked laugh that Tim Hutchings and Mr. Cram had uh, with uh, when when, uh, when Jake ran that in Monaco. He was in third place there. It was a brilliant race. And he dabbled in the 800 a bit, got down to 144.18, so a pretty good season for him. Gemma Reiki, this was her big year, a British record in the 800 meters, big wins over indoors and outdoors over 800, um, and some really, you know, a couple good uh, 1500s as well. She came within, I think, a half second of uh, four minutes. And uh, I think those are good picks. Uh, the athletes of the year, world athletes of the year, were Mondo Duplantis, or are Mondo Duplantis, and Yuli Mar Rojas. Mondo, 16 competitions, won 16 uh, pole balls. He has the 616 um, outdoor, and he has the 618 indoor. They should be two world records. Right now they're just calling it uh, the indoor or outdoor world best. Give him two world records. The guy deserves it. He's a star in both both parts of our sport, and he deserves to be recognized. Yulimar Rojas is the incredibly uh, leggy, talented, uh, exciting, and emotional triple jumper. And as Stewart said, it's pretty cool and ironic to have a triple jumper win the Athlete of the Year award when the Diamond League, uh, that wonderful group they meet with a couple two days in there, uh, London and pre in the old days, um, they took the triple jump out. They just brought it back. So, um, you, Julie Mar, uh, I got to watch her jump in Madrid in, uh, 2019. She's fantastic. The crowd gets involved with it. She's very into it. She's very, very talented. Uh, was over 15 meters twice this year with the best being a world indoor best of 1543. Uh, then our third topic was the diamond league formats back to all 32 events, except the hammer throw. Uh, the hammer throw will probably be in the Continental uh, Tour stuff. Pablo Fajic was unhappy about that. But there's a lot of uh, very happy 10,000-meter runners, steeplechasers, 200-meter runners, and um, triple jumpers. So our hats off to the Diamond League for that. Finally, shoes. As Stuart wrote, will all records be broken? Uh, unfortunately, I think so. I think records are made to be broken, but – they're not to be made to be broken every other week. And um, everybody thought probably Helen O'Berry would go it. Let, let's send a day. Uh, Giddy uh, did it. And um, we'll have to see what, uh, how some of these other athletes answer to that. Uh, but the shoes are actually providing shoes from various brands. But a lot of it's focused, a lot of the R is focused on Nike. And should you make shoes that are faster? Of course you should. But there needs to be some rules put in place. And uh, this is just uh, a challenge. So we'll have to see how it goes. Um, we'll be doing a big piece on it in the next few days. So uh, I'll let you see uh, what, what people in the industry think. But uh, it was a very good Athletics Chat 30. I hope that you enjoy it. Thank you to Stuart Weir. Thank you to Mike Deering. If you like Run Blog Run, then like us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And if you love us, if you really love us, as Sally Field has said, then subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is Larry Eater signing off. Thank you.